Today, we are going to talk about hidden FL Studio plugins. If you've ever felt like the FL Studio plugin list was lacking, well, I have something great for you. While in my opinion, the FL Studio plugin list is great, you just gotta learn how to use the stuff you have before thinking new things are gonna solve your problems. FL Studio has some hidden plugins that are some pretty new things that, well, might solve our problems. Please like and subscribe. Let's check it out. There's multiple different places that we can open up Patcher from FL Studio. I put Patcher in my effects suites because I mean, that's pretty much what it is. It's a suite of effects that you can use. It's all of the FL Studio effects with the ability to be routed in crazy ways. Um, and the surface section is where people design their buttons and their knobs. If you wanna learn more about how to actually make your own stuff in here, please check out my video above. But we're not gonna do any of that. We're gonna go through our presets. Now, your presets here are gonna have freaking cool stuff, dude, like mid-side EQ. One of these is mid, one of these is side. You thought you didn't have a mid-side EQ in FL Studio? Think again, we got a mid-side EQ. Compression, you want mid-side compression? We've got that too. You thought you didn't have a dynamic EQ? Think again. We've got a dynamic EQ. This thing has all kinds of stuff that you would originally think FL Studio is lacking. And they do this by doing some crazy routing in here. I wouldn't personally go this far, but if you're into this kind of thing, um, I can show you how this stuff works. Again, check out that video and you can go as crazy as you want. But the options here are great. If you wanna go with something less complicated, all of our 1K options are gonna be single knobs to do a whole bunch of behind the scenes stuff. It's pretty cool. And 2K, you guessed it, and anything 2K is going to be two knobs. Now, not only do they have all of this, but if we go to our channel rack and we add patcher, we actually have instruments and drum machines. Now, it doesn't just end there. That's the basic, but the bread and butter is the FL Studio image line forum where people create presets and spread presets around for Patcher. You can go download a bunch of cool, fancy stuff. Because why? Because why not? <laughs> Something else, though, that you'll notice that a lot of these have is they'll generally have this help section here, which will tell you what everything is actually doing and the purpose. Now, most will have this section, but some don't. But the options are just about limitless. So I could sit there and go through all of the different options and everything for days, but really that would make for an extremely long video that probably wouldn't be as helpful or as valuable as just showing you the possibilities and letting you go through and check it out yourself. I'll leave the link down below for the forum for getting the presets for the plugin. And pretty much this allows for limitless options within FL Studio. So if you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate it. Subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio. Adios.